hey guys welcome back I don't know which video is going up first I do have a children's book haul from the thrift store I decided to go to a thrift store that has an entire book just for rooms that was like what I was thinking right now but I went to a thrift store that has an entire room for books and I had my girls go through some while I was looking for some and then I had to go through their section and see what I you know would take out leave behind maybe it wasn't what they needed in the moment but we got a handful of books from there and I decided to go there first because I was on the hunt for some books and I wanted to see if I could find them secondhand first but the bookstore that I went to next was or is an independent bookstore and they sell used books like older books and then they sell new books as well that they might like purchase because there's like a need for them or interest in them so yeah so some of these books that I'm gonna be showing are secondhand from that used bookstore slash new you get it you're following along I hope anyway did I need all these books no but did we get them absolutely because we love books so um i'm going to start with the children's books that we picked up from that store okay i was going to try to carry them out as a pile i think i'll take them out one by one we've got under the silvery moon i literally covered my mouth under the silvery moon and it's just so beautiful the only thing is if you saw the other one from the thrift store everything I got was under $15 and I wound up getting one two three four travel books and two to three books for myself and everything else was for the children under $15 this one's a little pricier but I don't know this book originally sells for $5 and I got it for $3.50 and it's in really good condition my girls used to really be into fancy nancy they have one fancy nancy book it's about this size and it's pink and i don't remember if i got it secondhand or from one of those little I, that's where i got it from i think one of those um little libraries that they usually have in parks or neighborhoods and you can take a book and then leave a book so that's what i tend to do with all the old books like baby books i tend to put them in there you know you know you take one you give back to community so they have the pink one we found this blue one the pink one is i think something ext explorer extraordinaire and then this one this new one we got it for 650 i don't know what the original price is because the sticker's right over it but this one is ooh la la it's beauty day and my girls will enjoy that and I think it'll be better and more fun for them to read it than to just watch it even though it is a cute show so we've got fancy Nancy bonjour butterfly which is a larger book as you can tell the difference in size so their pink one is also small like this but now they have a large pink one as well we've got fancy Nancy fancy Nancy <laughs> and I didn't mention it but the blue one 650 and this big one was 750 and the yellow one was eight dollars which makes no sense if they're both the same size and both probably the same amount of pages why is one eight and one is 750 I don't know that's something to think about I've noticed that before and this one is Fancy Nancy and the Posh Puppy. And this one was $8.50. So see, how do you have one $7.58 and $8.50? By the way, since I did purchase so many books all at once, this store has a membership where you pay $25 at the beginning of the year or whenever throughout the year. And it lasts you an entire year for you to get um 10 percent off something and 20 percent off of something else but since i bought so many at once i did get 10 percent off 10 percent off my entire purchase i pulled out like four dog books for my little one because she loves animals however 
she made me leave two of them. She, I think she wanted me to put, no. She got three out of the four. She made me put one of them back. She wasn't too interested. She wanted these though. Marley goes to school and this one was $9. Marley and the kittens, my girls really love kittens. So this one was $9. We've got Lucy and Clark, A Story of Puppy Love, and this one was $8.50. And then I came across these two. We've got Night Night Cooper and Bear of My Heart, and this one was $6, and this one was $10. So I'm hoping it's so cute. Um, But yeah, again, I just love older graphics or illustrations. Just something a little different than whatever I would find. Today, like to me, this one is very modern. But yeah, ignore that in the back. That's supposed to be, where is it, right there? That's supposed to be up on the wall. I've yet to find like a nice screw for it. And then last for the children, I believe, is this one my oldest came across from it and i'm glad she did you've heard me mention usborn before i love usborn they have really good books and for a fair price i believe because i just love the way one the quality of the covers is always pretty good two they have great baby books they might seem a little pricey but i don't know when it comes to books i feel like you should just pay the price if you can get it second hand get it second hand and if you can't then go ahead and buy yourself a couple but this one we found second hand and it was ten dollars i have found usborne books before for i want to say like under two dollars which is great so always check your thrift store or used bookstore first but yeah this is a full book of bible stories from the Old and New Testament for 10 bucks. And then it has the table of contents, like, this is like getting multiple books for that price. I don't know, it's pretty great. And that is all for the children. And I guess I'll see you for my new book haul. I don't, I don't know how many of them are used because I, I think I purchased some of the ones that have the new book tag, but that's for another video. See ya. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around. And if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope to keep up with these videos and keep up with you guys.